Alrighty, um, we have the or bon bon uh, hooked up. I, I just uh, put these two magnets on there. It added a little bit to it. There's probably so many combinations that you know. I, I'm not even sure of the function of what these outer magnets are doing, but they're whatever I do to it, and I get more output. I look at that as a plus. Um, we just have our quarter inch magnets in there, one string of quarter inches around here. And this one I moved it around and got the brightest output. We have uh, our, our larger 12 volt bulb. It has two filaments in there. I'm lighting the easier filament um, with back EMF from the toroid here. Um, I just got the meter here and didn't want to do the chopsticks things, just showing the five volts input. Now, right at this point, it's pulling about an amp, um, maybe even a hair bit more than an amp. So we're figuring a hair above five watts going into the system. Um, back here, we have a bulb. It's a 12 volt bulb that is being lit by the pickup coil from here. So we have two separate circuits. I'm going to show some different things. Um, I measured this bulb on power supply alone and we get here on the left 5 volts in 0.137 amps uh, at 5 volts that's 0.85 watts and then the large bulb on the 5 volts in all by itself is 0.356 amps uh, 1.87 1.78 watts it's always 5 volts um, then also uh, the, the bulbs are brighter, I'm going to show that in a second, than when you put them on the 5 volt power supply. Uh, on this one back here, uh, it says 5.6 volts now, it must have drifted a little bit. Um, on the pickup coil, that smaller bulb, I had 5.4 volts at 0.167 amps, that's 0.9 watts. And the big bulb running off of the back EMF of the toroid coil, which is something extra that I had found that it's it's just extra. You know, you're you're taking back what you used, a good portion of what you used in pulsing that coil. So you're taking that back, and we are at 6.15 volts, 0.394 amps, 2.42 watts. Now the bulbs running off of the 5 volt power supply total by themselves is 2.465 watts and running off of the system the way it is right now uh, both bulbs are producing around 3.32 watts of output power. Um, I measured the current and voltage with the 50 volt 220 microfarad cap on the output. If I take the cap out, you can see it lowers a little bit. But in different situations with different frequencies, different uh, there's so many variations to what this does. Um, let me try to get this cap back in here. All right, but I, I put the cap on there to make the voltage and measurements of the bulb. Now this one here. Um, if I connect this over here, I have this orange wire going to the one side of the bulb. Let's see. 6.2 volts. And I said 6.15 earlier, but off of the sheet so the water the total wattage is a hair more than what we got here as it's been sitting um, I went and made these calculations came back and this is the difference that we have since I uh, <laughs> yeah excuse the noise in the background my cat she makes a noise she she goes in the uh, the cat litter box and she she scrapes it around quite a bit um, anyway but those are the measured, measured wattage differences of what this can put out into these bulbs and what we're getting out here. Um, if I take, I have a capacitor 
this, this dark gray one here across the toroid coil and that enhances things um, if, if I'm pulling 5 volts 1 amp in and then I add that in there there's no more amperage to pull from the power supply um, and, and things get brighter um, let me take take that out now you're gonna see an effect here when I take this bulb out that one goes lower but that's because the capacitor now when we take this capacitor out it's back it's retuned again so now that's just the output of the pickup um, let me show this the pickup coil is those two copper wires going there uh, the rail positive rail from power supply goes to one side and the MOSFET goes to the other side and then I got this orange wire coming down here and that's where I plug in this diode here and I just got these going across here for another 50 volt 220 microfarad cap to make the measurements uh, more accurate than if, if I didn't have the cap because it's really a lot of pulses going on there so let's put this back And we'll put the ball back in. Yeah, it's, it's a, let me see if it does it this time because I don't know if I have. You can see it get really bright when I when I put like a couple 1,000 microfarad caps in there. Man, she flashes like a, a camera. Um, but either way, um, other than other losses. Um, if we're taking 5 watts in, as far as I can tell at this point, we're getting 3.32 watts out. And that's capturing back EMF. I might not be doing it as efficiently as I could possibly do it. You know, there's a lot of, I've been playing with this a lot. Wound a lot of toroids and cut some apart because it just didn't want to take the time, you know, for unwrapping them and just rewind new ones. And, uh... I'm not sure if I see the uh, any kind of close to over unity effects, I, and like I said, I'm just not might not be there yet. But um, oh, she's lit up. Let's put this cap back in. Uh, the cap doesn't isn't making. Let's see. I gotta end this soon. Wow, she must have drifted. Uh, tuning wise that's one of the uh, problems with working with uh, this is if there's a variance in voltages there's going to be a variance in, in timing uh, got to let the, and even the bulbs they set up loads that affect uh, what's going on with the, the actual timing um, and then I add the caps, and they, and they also affect the timing also. Um, let's say if I put a cap on the toroid coil that I'm pulsing, well, that cap just might be able to hold enough charge to keep the toroid powered a little bit longer than the transistor is actually on. So there might not be a resonance going on. There might be just a, a charge effect going on there where I'm just dumping more into the cap and the coil at once and then there's a little left over in the cap that makes the coil fire longer so it doesn't mean I'm getting any more out of the coil uh, it's just uh, changing the timing but um, turn off the lights for a second this is a 12 volt bulb too it, it's the kind of you put in like a, uh, your headliner light you know inside lights um, this one is a bulb that would be like a stoplight and a turn signal. It has two filaments in it. Um, one would flash and one would be, you know, for stop and one would be for parking or whatever. But I'm lighting the weaker filament with the back EMF off of this. So we're capturing that too, along with generating the power over here. Okay. All right. I'm out of time. Hope you like that vid. Thanks.